Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a 30 minute abs and booty Pilates workout. You won't need any equipment, just yourself and a mat. So when you're ready, let's begin. Let's start today's class on our hands and our knees to warm up our spine. On your inhale, arch your spine, roll your shoulders back. And then on your exhale, round your spine and gaze towards your navel. One more. Inhale, arch your spine, open through your heart. Then exhale, round and gaze towards your navel. Then find your neutral spine, really drawing up through your belly button. Exhale, reach your left arm forward in line with your ear. Inhale, lower. Exhale, reach your right arm forward. Inhale, lower. Eight more. Really focus on keeping everything else still. So really drop your ribs down towards your hips as you reach your arms forward to keep your core nice and strong. Let's do two more. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lower. Last one. Well done. Tuck your toes under, press back to a downward facing dog, walk your hands to your feet and roll up to standing. Step your feet out, mat distance apart with your toes turned out and let's squat down and up. Inhale as you squat down. Exhale as you press up. Eight more. Really shift your weight back into your heels, sending your glutes far behind you. Just four more. Three, two. And on this last one, hold the low in your squat and take little pulses down and down. Eight more. Seven, keep pressing your knees out. Four more, three, two and one press up to standing bring your feet hip distance apart take a nice inhale then exhale fold over your legs walk your hands forward now coming into a plank position and then lift your left leg and bend your knee inhale tap your knee to the floor exhale press up inhale tap exhale press eight more Really draw up through your navel and press down through your shoulders. You're just moving your left knee. Two more. And last one. Well done. Lower your left knee down to the floor and lift your right leg back behind you. Reach your left arm forward. And now let's do a combo. Lower your arm and your leg down, then lift, then open them out to the side and draw them through center. So you lower, lift, open out wide and close. Three more. Two more. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Last one. Beautiful. Hold everything through center and take little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Step back into your plank position and then walk your hands back towards your feet. Roll up to standing and let's return to our squats. I'm going to turn to face you just so that you can see. This time round, inhale, squat down, then exhale, kick your right leg out to the side. Inhale, squat, exhale, kick your left leg. Keep going. Make sure that your leg is in line with your hip so that you're really activating through the outside of your glutes. Two more. And last one, hold your left leg extended. Reach your left arm up to the sky and on your exhale, lift your left leg, reach for your toes, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and reach, inhale, lower. 
seven more. Keep your right knee nice and bent to help with your balance. And as you lift your leg, think of crunching through the left side of your waist to wake up your abs. And last one. Well done. Now to the other side. Extend your right leg, reach your right arm up. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Eight more. Really reach for your toes with your fingertips, crunching through the right side of your waist. Three more. Two. And last one. Well done. Return through center. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, press up. Inhale, squat. Exhale, press. Can you squat down a little bit lower this time? Really sending those glutes far behind you. Three more. Two. And on this last one, hold low in your squat and take little pulses down and down. Just eight more. Seven, six, little lower. Five, four, three, two, and one beautiful press up to standing come to the back of your mat take a nice inhale and exhale fold over your legs walk your hands forward returning to your plank position and this time lift your right leg and bend your knee inhale tap your knee to the floor and exhale press up inhale tap exhale press eight more Really try to squeeze at the base of your right glute as you press your leg up, waking up your glutes and your core if they're not already awake. Let's do two more. And last one. Good job. Set your right knee down on the floor and lift your left leg up. Reach your right arm forward and let's return to our combo. Inhale, lower your arm and your leg. Exhale, lift. Inhale, open out wide, exhale, close. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Three more. Keep dropping your ribs down towards your hips to keep your core engaged. Only one more. Can you open your arm and leg out a little bit wider? Well done, hold through center and take 10 pulses up and up just eight more seven really reach through your fingertips and your toes four more three two and one really good job guys shift your weight back and bring your legs out in front of you with a soft bend in your knees, hold on to the back of your thighs and carefully roll yourself down onto your back. From here, interlace your hands behind your head with your elbows wide, imprint your spine and lift your legs up to a tabletop position. Squeeze your thighs together and on your exhale, lift your head and shoulders up. Inhale, tap your toes to the floor. Exhale, lift, then inhale, lower your head. So exhale, curl up, inhale, tap your toes, exhale, lift, and inhale, lower your head. Just six more. Make sure that when you tap your toes down to the floor, that you're keeping your lower back in contact with the mat. If you wanna make it even more challenging, see if you can tap your toes a little bit further away from you, challenging your lower abs. Keep breathing, exhale, lift, inhale, tap, exhale, lift, inhale, lower your head. And last one, can you curl up a little bit higher? Well done. Lift your head and shoulders up again, and this time, inhale, extend your legs straight, exhale, pull your knees in and lift your hips off the floor. Inhale, extend, exhale, pull your knees in and lift your hips. Six more. Make sure here that you are not relying on momentum. So pull your knees into your chest first and then lift your hips up using the strength of your lower abdominals. You're doing really well. Keep your elbows nice and open. 
just one more. Now hold your hips lifted, little challenge. Reach your arms by your hips and extend your legs straight up to the sky. Can you lift your hips up a little bit higher? Keep breathing for four more seconds. Three, two, and one. Well done. Rest your head, hug your knees in, and give yourself a little breather. Place your feet down on the mat now and shuffle them in towards your glutes. Make sure that they are hip distance apart in parallel and then pressing down through your heels, lift your hips up into a bridge position. Really tuck your hips under and squeeze your glutes. Inhale, lower your hips and exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Eight more like this. Really squeezing the base of your glutes, pressing down through the heels of your feet to lift your hips up. Three more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Last one. Let's hold our hips at the top and this time just lower halfway down and lift. So inhale, halfway down. Exhale, lift. Eight more. Really tuck your hips under, squeeze your glutes at the top. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And on this last one, hold your hips still. Reach your arms up to the sky. Inhale, lift both heels off the floor and exhale, lower them down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Eight more. Really try to lower your heels down with as much control as you can so that you find a shake through your legs. Keep lifting up through your hips, squeezing your glutes. You can do it. Just two more. And last one, hold your heels high. And this time, open your arms and your knees out as you lower your hips, then exhale, close them in as you lift your hips. So inhale, lower, exhale, lift, as you open your arms and your legs out and close. As you lift your hips up and close your knees back into parallel, really focus on squeezing your glutes. Just two more. And last one. Well done, hold at the top and let's take little pulses for 10, nine, you can do it, eight, seven, little higher, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at the top, lower your heels, squeeze your glutes a little bit more and then roll your hips back down. Imprint your spine, lift your legs to a tabletop position and squeeze your thighs together. Then stack one hand on top of the other and on your exhale, curl your head and shoulders up, open your knees and then inhale, lower your head and close your knees. So exhale, open your knees, reach through your legs, then inhale, lower, six more. Keep your knees stacked over your hips as you open your knees wide, really using your abs to reach through your legs. Just two more. And on this last one, let's hold in our curl and take little pulses for 10 and nine. Really reach and reach, six more. Five, four, three, two, and a one. Return your hands behind your head and flex your feet. Inhale, extend your legs out. Exhale, pull your knees in. Inhale, extend, exhale, pull. Six more. Really squeeze your heels together as you extend your legs out. Also working your inner thighs. You can do it, just two more. And last one. Extend your legs up to the sky now and point your toes. 
Inhale, lower your legs straight down, exhale, open and lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, open and lift. Two more, keeping your legs in a turnout position. Last one, and now reverse. Inhale, open, exhale, close and lift. Inhale, open, exhale, close and lift. Two more. And last one. Excellent job. Rest your head, hug your knees in, and then extend your legs out long so that they are mat distance apart. Reach your arms back next to your ears, and then on your exhale, roll up to seated and twist over to the left, pulling your left knee in, and then inhale, roll down. Exhale, sit up, twist to the right, pull your right knee in, inhale, lower. Only six more, you can do it. Really twist over your knee as far as you can, getting into those obliques. Four more. Keep breathing. Exhale, lift and twist. Inhale, lower. Two more. And last one, you are so strong. Well done. I'm sure you're glad that one's over. Roll onto your side now and come up to seated and let's get ready for our glute series. So come onto your hands and your knees and then lower down onto your left forearm, keeping your right arm boxed out. Really draw your navel in and keep your chest parallel to the floor. Exhale, open your right knee, inhale, close. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Six more. Really opening that right knee out nice and wide, working the outside of your glutes. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Two more. And on this last one, hold your knee lifted and take little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your knee lifted. Extend your leg back and then pull your knee forward towards your tricep. Inhale as you extend, exhale as you pull forward. Six more. Try to keep your knee nice and lifted, really aiming to tap your right tricep. Three more, you can do it. Two. And on this last one, hold your leg extended back with your hip open and take little circles for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now for a combo. Inhale, lower your leg, exhale, lift. Inhale, sweep it forward, exhale, lower, and lift. Sweep it back, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, sweep it forward, exhale, lower, and lift. Keep going, moving with lots of control here. When you lower the leg back behind you, make sure that your hip is still slightly open. That way we're still targeting the outside of our glutes. This is one of those movements that the slower you go, the more effective it is in burning your glutes. You can do it. Keep lifting up through your navel, keeping your core engaged. Just two more to go. You're doing so well. This is your last one. Now let's hold our leg out to the side and finish with pulses. You lift up and up. Just six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Well done. Press back into a child's pose just for a quick breather. And then from here, we're gonna really fire up those glutes. So come to a kneeling position and step your left foot forward into a lunge. Tuck your back toes under and reach your arms next to your hips. On your exhale, 
push yourself forward, kick your right leg back behind you, and then inhale, carefully lower yourself back to that kneeling position. So exhale, power forward, kick your right leg back, and then inhale, lower back down to that kneeling position. Your left glute is really having to work here. If you are shaking like me, just means that you're doing it right. Just two more to go. And on this last one, hold your leg extended back and then press up to standing. Let's now take a lunge to curtsy. So step your right foot straight back into a lunge, step it over to the left for a curtsy, return through center and then press up to standing. So you lunge back, curtsy, lunge and press up to standing. Just six more. Slightly hinge forward from your hips here, keeping your left knee nice and bent so that you really feel that left glute working. Keep your spine nice and straight, really lifting up through your navel and keep breathing. You're doing really well. Just two more to go. And after this last one, let's hold through center in our lunge reach your arms by your ears and take little pulses just for eight seven six five four three two and one Woo! take your hands to the floor and press back into a downward facing dog take a moment to pedal your heels alternate bending your knees this should feel really nice for those legs and those glutes Well done. Lower your knees to the floor and you guessed it, let's take it straight away to the other side. So this time, come down onto your right forearm, box out your left arm and really lift up through your navel. On your exhale, open your left knee wide and inhale lower. Exhale open, inhale close. Six more. Try to keep your left knee in line with your hip and lift that knee up as high as you can. Just two more. And last one, hold your knee lifted and take eight pulses. You lift and lift. Six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Extend your leg back, keep your hip open, and then pull your knee forward towards your left tricep. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Six more. Try to keep your knee nice and lifted, really working our left glute. Let's do two more. And on this last one, hold your leg extended back and draw those little circles for eight, seven. Really reach through your toes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now for my favorite. Inhale, lower the leg. Exhale, lift. Inhale, sweep it forward. Exhale, lower and lift. Keep going. You lower, lift, sweep forward lower, lift, sweep back. Six more to go. When you sweep your leg forward, really try to sweep it forward in line with your hip. This not only works our glutes, but you're also really working hard through your core and your obliques. You can do it, you're almost there. Two more to go. And last one. You know what's coming. Let's hold our leg out to the side and take little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four. You've got it. Three, two, and one. Ouch, lower your leg down 
and then let's return to that lunge series. So this time, step your right foot forward, kneeling on your left knee, tuck your left toes under and reach your arms down by your side. On your exhale, shift your weight forward, kick your back leg, and then inhale, lower back down to that kneeling position. So exhale as you power up, kick your left leg behind you, inhale as you lower. You've got it. Keep drawing up through your navel and make sure that right knee stays nice and bent. Two more to go, you've got it. And on this last one, let's hold at the top and then press up to standing. Let's return to that lunge and curtsy. So step your left foot back into a lunge, step it over to the right for your curtsy, return through center and press up. Lunge back, curtsy, lunge and press up. Just breathing naturally here. Make sure that your right knee stays stacked over your right ankle and that you're slightly leaning forward so that you work more into that right glute. Just two more to go. You're almost there. And last one. Let's hold in our lunge now. Reach your arms by your ears and take little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, little lower, three, two, and one. Well done. Take your hands to the floor and press back into a downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal your heels, alternate bending your knees. And then from here, shift your weight forward into your plank position. First option, pull your right knee into your chest, pivot to the left and see if you can tap your knee with your left hand and then return through center. Other side, pull your left knee in, pivot to the right, see if you can tap your knee with your right hand and then return through center. Second option is to kick your leg across and then take it to the other side. This is a really challenging exercise. You are working your whole entire body here. Just two more to go, you can do it. Exhale, tap, inhale, center. Exhale, tap, inhale, center. Well done. Hold through center now and lower down onto your forearms for our final push of class. Let's do some salsa hips. So drop your left hip down to the floor, lift, then drop your right hip and lift. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. Really lift up through your navel, press down through your shoulders. You're doing really well. Just eight more, this is it. Seven, class is almost over. Six, five, can you lower them a little bit more? Three more, two, and one. Excellent job, lower your knees and press back to a very well-deserved child's pose. Let your forehead rest on the mat and just take deep breaths. Then carefully roll yourself up to seated and bring your legs out in front of you. Extend your right leg straight, bend your left knee open. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward over your leg. Then lift your chest and cross your left foot over your right thigh. Bend your right knee in and pick up your hips and shift them forward until you feel a really nice stretch for your left glute. Open through your heart and take deep breaths. Let's switch sides. Release your legs, extend your left leg forward, open your right knee out, then inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, hinge forward. Then roll yourself up, cross your right foot over your left thigh, bend your left knee in and shift your hips forward until you feel a nice stretch for your right glute. 
you should feel really nice after all that glute work today. Then carefully release your legs and let's come to a cross-legged position. On your inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, side bend over to the right. Then other side, inhale, reach your right arm up, exhale, side bend to the left. Then return through center and let's finish class like always. With one last big inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands down to your heart. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's abs and booty class. If you would like to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again and I hope you have the most beautiful day.